Jake Droz here from Allegan, Michigan, and uh, we're gonna go do a root dig with Tim from Mosaic. Go down to Paw Paw and look at some corn, so pretty good day ahead. Zach Schrock here with my dad, Dave, and we are here in one of the fields in Bremen, Indiana. We are honored to have some Mosaic people here with us today uh, to look at what we've been doing in the trials for them, so very excited with what's in the cornfield here, so hope you enjoy this episode. Well, it's been a wet year, so we've had an excessive amount of rain early, and then we turned dry here about two weeks ago, and we've been pumping a lot of water back on the field, probably water that we pumped off of here a few months ago, but <laughs> we're bringing it back, so we're recycling. We, we want to know what's going on underground in the soil and how that translocates into plant growth that we harvest above the ground. We feel pretty confident in what we're gonna find. So let's go see if I'm right. Okay, so all of our friends that have joined us for this episode, today we have the honor of having Tim and Quentin with us from Mosaic. So guys, can you introduce yourselves? Hey there, I'm Tim <laughs> Roby, Regional Sales Manager for Mosaic Biosciences Eastern Corn Belt. Yep, I'm Quentin Leffel, uh, Territory Sales Manager for Indiana. We're gonna get Zach out there, Mr. Shovel Man, to uh, do up some root digs. We'll take a look at some root systems after they've been treated with Biopath. They wouldn't let me bring the excavator out here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll go take a 20 minute break, Zach, and you can get the roots yeah. dug up. <laughs> it's like taking a tree out of the ground. All right, we'll, let's go wash. <laughs> you can at least see the air root. Yep. All right, so we're we're off to Paw Paw to dig some corn, and we got Tim here from Mosaic in the cab. Yeah, so Jake, tell me a little bit about how's this season been progressing weather-wise and crop-wise. This corn we're going to look at it was planted May fifteenth, if I remember right. Um, it's a hundred and ten-day corn, all irrigated down here, and it looked good coming out of the ground. And then June took over, and it was just wetter and I'll get out. We probably down there between May 1st and July 28th there in Paw Paw, we picked up about 18 to 20 inches of rain. Wow. Yeah, it's been kind of a streaky year across across this area of the country, hasn't it been? You know, the corn overall for what it looked like, I'm kind of surprised. It is better than I thought it would be. And you went out with a 16 ounces per acre ray to Biopath? Yeah, and I mean, it was the same thing as last year. Easy to use, easy to dump in, mixes with everything. That's the one where we had a pretty good response last year, so decided to try it again and you know if we have two years of good data then obviously we'll go more acres of it right hey we're at the field so let's uh go dig some corn and check some stuff okay. out yep. so we'll get some roots so what we're doing here is we're trying to wash the soil off of the root mass. Um, a lot of soil came out here with us, so that's a good sign. Uh, soil biology helps hold that soil to those roots. Let's go. So one thing, one thing that you look for um, when you go digging roots is this area right in the center here. A lot of times you'll dig corn roots, and this will be hollow. Yep because your early biology wasn't working for you. This is good proof right here of what we're looking to do with products like uh, Biopath because all these little fine hair roots are an indication of strong soil biology, but to have it in this early zone is what we were trying to accomplish with Biopath and, and we've done it. This is really consistent with what we're seeing across the Eastern Corn Belt. As you kind of alluded to, when you get biology out there working together with the plant root system, it does promote below ground biomass. And as you guys know, the better biomass we can get below ground drives nutrient uptake. And that's what allows you to maximize your above ground productivity. And that means bushels in the bin for you guys. Yep. And these nodes are clear, fairly clear. I mean, they're always going to be some color in them, but a lot of times they'll be almost black. As long as this is clear and not cannibalized, the plant is happy and has plenty of nutrition. And able this to is, pull up yes, nutrients. Yes, it's pulling nutrients up through here. 
And have you guys observed anything? You mentioned kind of the drought the last couple of weeks. I know it was a wet spring, yeah. but how do your corn treated with BioPath fare against some of the neighbors? There's, there is a difference in, in the plant stature and, and just the, how the plants were able to take the early wet and then the drought that followed. So, I mean, for as wet as it was, you really should be pretty happy to have that kind of a root mass. I could take you to fields of our own that weren't treated like this corn was. It would not look like that. We're back here at the farm and we are just uh, kind of poking around these roots that we dug up. We found, we did have a root coming off this treated one that where the unfurrow would have hit it, that the root came down to about here coming off the seed and it was still live. Actually, it was still white. So, I mean, it's still taking in stuff. This one here, you can see, but it's just brown, you know, it's kind of died off. And so there's a little bit there, but not a lot. It's basically done. So that was pretty intriguing to see. You know, I think one of the net net is you got, you know, good root architecture and good fibrous root hairs on both systems. Um, you know, with the bacteria being able to colonize the roots over here, um, what we typically see across the corn belt is, is better nutrient availability localized and better uptake. Yeah, overall the corn looked good. It was, uh, it was a good morning digging a few plants up and, you know, having some good conversation in the truck about where the product's headed and what to do and what not to do and stuff like that. So thanks a bunch for coming out. Yep, thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just have to catch you on the next episode of Frontier Fields. <laughs> well, for all of our fans, thank you for joining us again for an episode. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned something. We hope you're excited about agriculture because we are here. We'll see you at harvest time. <laughs>